Well, welcome today. It's been fun sharing stories with you throughout the last part of the year. This time, though, we're still talking about Easter. Easter's just barely over. And uh, I'm going to finish story from our Easter story book. And quite literally, it's called that. And in this book, there are several stories about Jesus. And those stories kind of come to the end here now of the Easter season. So if you can see this picture, here's a picture of Jesus and the disciples are in the room and it's simply called Seeing is Believing. And this story is taken from John's Gospel. The news that Jesus was alive soon spread among his friends. The disciples were still in Jerusalem, but they were too frightened to move for fear of what might happen to them. One night, the majority of them met together and locked the doors for safety. But then an unexpected thing happened. Jesus appeared among them. The disciples were overjoyed. They were thrilled to see Jesus again. Everyone got their fear out because they were excited to see Jesus. Everyone that is except Thomas. Thomas was not there when Jesus appeared to the others. And he refused to believe that Jesus was alive. I'll only believe when Jesus is alive if I can actually see him for myself, he said stoutly. I won't believe until I can put my own finger into the holes where the nails had been and put my hand in the side. Well, a week later, all the disciples were together in a room with the doors locked, still fearful that they too might be arrested. From nowhere, Jesus appeared to them. Peace be with you, Jesus said. And he turned and looked at Thomas. Thomas, he said, look at my hands. Put your fingers in the holes where the nails were. Don't doubt anymore, but believe. Thomas fell to his knees, overwhelmed by what he'd seen. You are my Lord and my God, he said. I do believe. And that is our story, a very short one, but it ends then, or partially ends at least this book. It was simply called Seeing is Believing. So in our story today, Thomas needs to see Jesus to believe. And of course, we believe even without seeing Jesus and how special that is. So thank you for sharing this story with me. We have one more story in this book that I will share with you uh, at another date and time. Um, but it's from the book called The Easter Story. And of course, that will be leaving the Easter season. So thank you for joining me. See you later. Bye.